The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone, it's been a pretty pleasant morning so far and as we go through the rest of the day, we're going to have enough sunshine to warm us up pretty nicely. We are able to hold on to some of that heat tomorrow, but the clouds that we've got will prevent us from warming up too much and the rain isn't going to help with that either. Behind the system that comes through, there's a lot of cold air, which is going to keep temperatures in the 60s through a lot of next week. Right now, the showers are mostly off towards our west and there's not even that much storminess along with them. There's some extra energy that will build in Ohio and Pennsylvania as this system makes its way through, but a lot of the actual storms in Louisiana and Mississippi have kind of taken care of themselves at this point, and that rain is switching over from yellow to green. Now it's going to pick up energy as it moves into our region, but it's not going to do that until tomorrow. There are some clouds building on that Ohio West Virginia border. That's about the closest to us that anything is right now, so we're staying pretty nice and dry. Each of our zones gets up into the 80s for today with NRV right at 80. The rest of us a good amount over it. Highlands and Roanoke in the mid 80s and Lynchburg and Southside both at 87. I wouldn't be surprised if one or two spots actually ends up getting up towards 90 for today. Again, our severe weather is mostly staying off towards the west today and level one risk, so not looking at a ton. But tomorrow, that level two risk extends from around Baltimore down towards the Florida border. And even though we're not included in the severest part on there or on Sunday, could still get some uh, thunder, lightning, high winds, and even some hail coming through. Now on the future tracker, we stay nice and dry for today. In the afternoon, some extra clouds start to build up from the south. And as we get towards 9, 10 p.m., that's when the clouds really develop. We'll be overcast going into 6 a.m. And it's about when the same time the sun is rising, we'll have some showers moving into the NRV. Yellows, oranges, even some reds showing up. So some spots are getting heavy rain at that point as it moves further towards the east by noon most of us have got some rainfall some storms on our eastern edges at that point that's where the darker reds are showing up and then between noon and three some storms are still likely in lynchburg and south side but after 3 p.m it moves off towards the east and we might have a couple spotty showers left over but at that point most of us are looking rather dry Rain is going to stack up the most from Martinsville up towards Lynchburg. That's where we get a little bit more than an inch. As you go further towards the northwest or southeast, that falls off a little bit more with most spots staying between half an inch and a whole inch. And then Saturday is the last day of rain that we have for a while. We're pretty nice and dry after that. Temperatures are going to be below average pretty consistently after that front comes through. Today, we're well above average with temperatures into the 80s like Roanoke at 86. And then overnight, we're able to hold on to quite a bit of that heat. Even losing 30 degrees, we're still in the mid 50s with Roanoke at 59 for one of the warmer ones and Floyd at 54 on the extended forecast. Temperatures can only warm up so much with highs around 70 on Saturday, and then we're in the 60s on Sunday and stay like that through a lot of the week ahead. Even as we get into Thursday, we're still in the mid 60s. Now Wednesday brings some rainfall our way. So does Thursday. So if you want to enjoy some of these sunnier, cooler days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday are your best bet.